Hello, Internet! I'm back, Beltheria, that is, with some more Warframe. In particular, more, what's it called? Sands of Inaros, questline, in particular. In particular? I don't particularly care. <laughs> uh, I do care. Um, however, uh, did some farming, figured out what I was supposed to farm after the fact. Uh, you probably saw it on the end slate of the last video. There was no dialogue. I think some of the dialogue of this mission might be bugged because I received no input from the game on what I was doing, whether I was doing it right or wrong. I succeeded, because I killed everything that looked like a MOA, but I don't, I did not, at the time, necessarily know what I was looking for. <laughs> uh, but future me will handle that by looking it up and putting it on the end slate in the recording process, because future me is a handsome guy, isn't that right? Oh, don't blush. You know you, you know you deserve it. Handsome devil. All right, let's get going, for boss. Got to get back to the tomb. We filled up the jar with the souls of robots. Somehow, don't ask me how I did that. A very technical process. Got to make sure that you're uh, doing it right every time. By the void, the Grenier have picked up our scent. They'll take me. It's in Oros. You have to stop these animals at once. Okay. I mean... You just chill. It's not that big of a deal. Hey, buddy. Ooh. He lost his head. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, they just had a ball. Get it? Because I shoot balls? Anyway. As far as I can tell, I don't actually have to kill these guys if I don't want to, but, uh... You're having a bad time? You're having a bad time. Bad day? And a bad day. Oosh. There is very little that can stand in the way of a mirage with a simulator. I just want that to be said. Like, having the power to just throw black holes at people, singularities, uh, to be fair, singularities at people, uh, that's devastating. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can I stealth this guy? I can't! Oh! I've been getting good at stealth. Not like, actual good. But like, sorta good? Like, proficient, I guess would be a better way of saying it. But like... Throwing... Throwing singularities one thing. Throwing singularities that become explosives when they collide. That's another thing. And that's what I can do. Boom, boom, explode. For the Lotus. <laughs> Rippling that output. That is godlike. I mean, the fact that this uh, primitive subculture of the of the solar system started worshiping a weird mummy monster—that's not surprising when you consider all of this crazy shit that the Tenno can do. <laughs> We're gods. We're, we're gods. That's that's all there really is to it. Um, this isn't the way forward. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, Bob, come on, you messed it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a big deal for you. I mean, personally, I don't know how I'd, I'd be able to handle having this kind of power. Like, if you gave me the ability to create light, like, photonic duplicates of myself, oh, you know I'd abuse that. Warframe 
is strong. Yes. Yes, it is. But like, yeah, 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 there's, there's the whole, oh, it's, it's equipment thing. Yeah, that's true, but, uh, you know what's not equipment? This. I can just do this. Flight? Well, hovering, I guess. The ability to just do that to people? That ain't right. <laughs> That's just, that ain't right. There we go. Also, like, yeah, then we start approaching your, uh, your good old sufficiently advanced technology issue at hand. Uh, with the singularity cannon here, but, uh, also got lightning sword. I mean, that's, that's a thing in and of itself. And there's these. Like, let's get in the light. Look at this. Look at these. These are just little metal slabs that shoot uh, energy bolts. How do they do that? The answer, I don't know. Nobody knows. They just do. They do because that's what they're designed for. These people, this universe is at the point where technology just does what it's designed to do. Like, there's no... There's there's very little rhyme or reason to it. It just does what it... what it's supposed to. So where is she? That voice. I think I need to hear the rest. I think I've needed to hear this for a long time. Uh-huh. Barrow, are you okay, buddy? You sound like you're having a bit of a moment. Huh. Neat. Oh. Fire erupts in sequence. Then this one? Oh. That's pretty cool. And so, for years we lived in peace, and our little dunes were our own to keep. But the sands of peace are ever shifting. Years later, a plague came to the desert. The infested. Desperate, our people called out to the sky. Inaros. Inaros. But they could not wake him. And so, they were consumed by the ravenous horde. With all lost, the few remaining villagers gathered in the morning circle to prepare for the end. When suddenly, a storm rose about them. A colossal spiral storm of sand, piercing the sky. The villagers huddled, trapped within the storm's eye as the beasts charged them. In moments, the beasts were torn apart, and the infested plague was swept away, never to be seen again. As the storm subsided, the people ventured out into the desert, hoping to catch a glimpse of their savior, their beloved Inaros. Um, I guess that didn't go so well for them. Get ready. Uh-huh. Yo, what? Whoa, don't be throwing rocks at me. Just you, huh, big guy? Already scanned you, so that's... Whoa, careful now. You wouldn't want to do something to upset me. 
The cats did that. Okay, I see what's up now. Huh, guess I just need to scan you once. That's unfortunate for you. Because now everything dies. to watch over them once again. They gathered his body to keep it safe from thieves and raiders. They placed the pieces within the sacred vessels and entombed them in secret, knowing that one day Inaros would reclaim his body and rise again. So now, my sweet Dune, you have no need of fear. Take these grains and keep them under your pillow. Inaros will watch over you. Huh. Find extraction. We're done here. Are you crying? There's no crying in baseball. Come on. Barrow. That's all good, man. It's it's kind of a sweet story. It's kinda of touching. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes the universe just, uh, is a big and terrifying place, and you have to find some little part of it that makes sense to you in some way, some form. It's, it's just, you need that in your life. And I, I get anchoring yourself to that. That's, it's a calming influence. But, uh, Pharaoh? The story Barrow? isn't just a myth, is it? No, probably not. Look at this sacred vessel, one of four, just as she described. And the challenges. You must prove your tenno. Oh, God. That's totally a juggernaut. Okay. Uh, time to go kill a bunch of those then, I guess. Good times. <laughs> Internet, thank you very much for watching. I've been Beltheria, and if you could go ahead and do me a favor to, uh, you know, like, share, subscribe, whatever it is you need to do to uh, help me get this uh, social networking garbage off my plate and onto yours. <laughs> oh, that sounds really, really shitty when I say it out loud that way. Anyway, Internet, uh... Yeah, basically, you keep uh, you keep watching, I'll keep making them. Sometimes I get into a little bit of a funk, but uh, I, I keep going. <laughs> you stay classy, okay? Okay. <laughs>